it is the 23rd and this is Port Headland. So some of the biggest trains full of iron ore you've ever seen. Six, six uh, locomotives, is that what you call them? Two at the front, two at the middle and two at the back. Obviously reverse and forwards. Just taking these huge trains full of iron ore and then obviously they're all gonna go into these things. And then, and then they send it to China and then China turn it into steel and then sell it back to Australia. There you go, go figure. Someone had a hand in that back end cheeky deal, didn't they? They thought, why don't we make it in, uh, why don't we make the steel in uh, in the old, uh, the old Australia? And they're like, nah, we'll just ship it to China and then buy the steel back. Yeah, why not? <laughs> but anyway, contentious issue. But let's not talk about the submarines because that's even more contentious. Basically, they paid a load of money to get to sub, some Australia to get sub submarines off the French in 50 years' time. They won't work. Diesel generated, apparently. Anyway, but all the jobs will be in France, so so they don't mind about that. <laughs> all right. So this is it. This is Port Headland. Beautiful morning. We're gonna go to some nice lagoons and uh, and drive back to Perth. Beautiful little drive. Tiddly.